Chapter 1. The Basics of Mindfulness Lena had always struggled with anxiety and stress, but she never knew how to cope with it. It wasn't until her therapist suggested mindfulness that things began to change. What is mindfulness? Lena asked her therapist. Mindfulness is the practice of paying attention to the present moment without judgment, her therapist replied. Lena was intrigued by the idea. She had never thought about the present moment or paying attention to her thoughts before. Her therapist showed her some simple mindfulness exercises, such as focusing on her breathing and doing a body scan, where she would focus on each part of her body and notice any tension. Lena found it hard to stay focused at first, as her mind kept wandering and her attention was easily distracted. However, with practice, she found it easier to concentrate on her breathing and body sensations. She also started to notice how judgmental she often was towards herself and how that impacted her anxiety. Through daily meditation and mental training, Lena began to see the benefits of mindfulness. She found it easier to cope with stress and her anxiety started to lessen. She also noticed that her relationships with others improved as she was more present and attentive when talking to them. The non-judgment aspect of mindfulness was something Lena struggled with at first. Whenever she noticed her mind wandering, she would get frustrated with herself. But as she continued to practice, she learned to approach her thoughts with curiosity and compassion instead of judgment. The present moment became something Lena started to value. She found herself becoming more aware of her surroundings, noticing the colors and textures around her. She also started to appreciate small joys, like the warmth of the sun on her skin or the sound of a bird chirping. The sensory experience of mindfulness became one of Lena's favorite parts of the practice. She realized how much of her life she had been missing out on by being in her own head all the time. Instead, she learned to fully engage with her senses and take in everything around her. Self-awareness was another key component of mindfulness that Lena learned to appreciate. Through her practice, she saw how her thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations were all interconnected. She also noticed patterns in her behavior and how certain triggers would cause her to react in certain ways. Mindfulness had become an essential part of Lena's life. It helped her to cope with stress, improved her relationships, and brought more joy and awareness into her life. She realized that mindfulness was a lifelong practice and that there was always room to deepen her understanding of it. But for now, she was grateful for the positive changes it had brought to her life. Question, what is mindfulness? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Understanding the Benefits of Mindfulness. Mindfulness had become an indispensable tool for Sarah. As someone who had always struggled with her mental health, she was initially skeptical when her therapist suggested mindfulness. But after just a few weeks of practice, she saw the benefits for herself. One of the most noticeable improvements was in her stress levels. Sarah had a demanding job and had always found it hard to switch off from work. But with daily mindfulness exercises, she found it easier to unwind and let go of the day's stresses. Emotional regulation was another area where mindfulness had helped Sarah. Instead of reacting impulsively to situations, she had learned to observe her emotions without judgment. She found that this allowed her to respond more skillfully to difficult situations, rather than getting overwhelmed by her feelings. Cognitive function had also improved for Sarah. She had always struggled with racing thoughts and found it hard to focus on tasks for long periods. But with regular mindfulness practice, she found that her mind was clearer and more focused. She also noticed improvements in her memory and problem-solving abilities. Perhaps one of the most surprising benefits for Sarah was the improvement in her self-confidence. Through mindfulness, 
she had learnt to observe her thoughts and feelings with curiosity and compassion rather than self-criticism this had helped to quieten her inner critic and improve her self-esteem self-awareness was also an important aspect of mindfulness for sarah through the practice she had become more attuned to her thoughts feelings and physical sensations this had allowed her to identify patterns in her behavior and make more conscious choices about how she wanted to live her life compassion was another key component of mindfulness for sarah through the practice she had learned to extend kindness and compassion to herself and others this had helped her to feel more connected to others and had reduced feelings of isolation empowerment was a natural outcome of all these benefits as sarah became more confident self-aware and compassionate she felt more in control of her life she realized that she had the power to make positive changes in her life and to cultivate a sense of well-being that was not dependent on external circumstances the quality of sarah's life had improved dramatically since she started practicing mindfulness she felt more peaceful content and resilient she also found that she was more able to enjoy the present moment rather than getting caught up in worries about the future or regrets about the past positive psychology had become a part of sarah's daily life she had developed an appreciation for the small things in life and a sense of gratitude for all the good things she had she had also learned to view challenges as opportunities for growth rather than sources of stress looking back sarah couldn't imagine going back to her old ways mindfulness had become an essential part of her life and had given her a sense of purpose and meaning that she had never experienced before she was grateful for the benefits it had brought to her life and was excited to continue exploring the practice in new ways question what are the benefits of mindfulness practice check the video description for the answer chapter three overcoming common obstacles to mindfulness as a busy mother of two young children sarah knew that time management would be her biggest obstacle to cultivating a mindfulness practice she struggled to find even a few minutes of quiet time to herself amidst the daily chaos of family life to make matters worse sarah had a tendency towards procrastination she found herself putting off her mindfulness practice until the end of the day when she was already exhausted and distracted by the events of the day distractions were another challenge for sarah even during her designated mindfulness time she found her mind wandering to her to-do list or the stresses of the day self-doubt crept in as she struggled to quiet her mind and stay present in the moment despite these obstacles sarah was determined to make mindfulness a priority in her life she knew that the benefits would be worth the effort and that mindful habits could help her to feel more centered and grounded even amidst the chaos sarah began by committing to a regular mindfulness practice even if it was just for a few minutes at a time she realized that she didn't need to carve out an hour of uninterrupted time each day to see the benefits of mindfulness instead she started by setting aside just five minutes each morning to sit in silence and observe her breath self-care also became an important part of sarah's mindfulness practice she recognized that taking care of herself would allow her to be more present and focused in her daily life she started prioritizing exercise getting enough sleep and taking breaks when she needed them by practicing mindfulness consistently sarah began to notice a shift in her relationship to her thoughts and emotions she began to observe her thoughts without judgment and to recognize the stressful thoughts for what they were simply passing experiences in her mind she found that with mindfulness she could ride out the waves of difficult emotions without getting swept away by them through her mindfulness practice sarah learned to cultivate a sense of curiosity and wonder towards her experiences 
she realized that by observing her thoughts and emotions, she could gain a deeper self-awareness and understanding of herself. Mind wandering and distractions still occurred, but Sarah learned to approach these experiences with kindness and compassion towards herself. She didn't judge herself for getting distracted or lost in thought, but instead gently redirected her attention back to her breath. Over time, Sarah's commitment to mindfulness paid off. She found that she was more present and engaged in her daily life, and that she was better able to manage stress and difficult emotions. Mindful habits became a natural part of her routine, and she found that she was more attuned to her body and mind. Through mindfulness, Sarah discovered a new sense of confidence and empowerment. She realized that she had the power to make positive changes in her life, and that with consistent practice, she could cultivate a sense of well-being that was not dependent on external circumstances. For Sarah, mindfulness had become more than just a practice, it had become a way of life. She continued to prioritize mindfulness in her daily routine, knowing that it was an investment in her own health and well-being. Question, what are some common obstacles to practicing mindfulness? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4 Cultivating Mindfulness in Everyday Life Sarah continued to prioritize mindfulness in her daily routine, and as a result, she found that she was able to cultivate a deeper sense of mindful awareness in her everyday life. Mindful habits had become a natural part of her daily routines, and she focused on bringing mindfulness to all aspects of her life, not just her dedicated mindfulness practice. Mindful communication was an area of focus for Sarah. She recognized that her communication with her family and friends could benefit from a more mindful approach. She began to listen more deeply and was more intentional in her responses. She found that this led to more meaningful and fulfilling relationships. Mindful eating became another area of focus for Sarah. She started paying more attention to her body and its needs and she began to eat more slowly and mindfully. This led to a greater sense of connection with her body, and she found that she was able to enjoy her meals more fully. Mindful movement also became an important aspect of Sarah's life. She started to focus on her body during exercise and other physical activities, and she noticed that this led to a greater sense of strength and flexibility. She began to appreciate her body for what it was capable of, rather than focusing on its perceived shortcomings. Mindful meditation continued to be a cornerstone of Sarah's mindfulness practice. She found that taking just a few minutes each day to sit in silence and observe her breath allowed her to cultivate a greater sense of calm and inner peace. Through self-reflection during her meditation practice, Sarah began to appreciate the many blessings in her life, and she started to view her challenges as opportunities for growth. Gratitude became another important aspect of Sarah's mindfulness practice. She began to focus on the positive aspects of her life and was more intentional about expressing gratitude towards the people and experiences that brought her joy. She found that this led to a greater sense of happiness and fulfillment. Self-compassion was another area of growth for Sarah. She recognized the importance of treating herself with kindness and understanding, especially in moments of difficulty or stress. She began to embrace her imperfections and to view them as opportunities for growth and learning. As Sarah continued to cultivate mindfulness in her life, she found that her relationships, her work, and her overall sense of well-being had all benefited. She recognized that mindfulness was not a one-time accomplishment, but rather an ongoing practice, and she remained committed to continuing her journey. Through her own experience, Sarah came to appreciate the transformative power of mindfulness. She hoped to inspire others to embrace mindfulness in their own lives, recognizing that with practice and patience, it was possible to cultivate a greater sense of calm, inner peace, and well-being. Question. 
How can we incorporate mindfulness into our daily lives? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5 Deepening Your Mindfulness Practice As Sarah continued to deepen her mindfulness practice, she decided to attend a meditation retreat. The retreat was led by experienced teachers who offered guidance on cultivating mindful awareness and self-inquiry. Sarah found that the retreat was a powerful experience that allowed her to unplug from the busyness of her daily life and to focus solely on her inner self. During the retreat, Sarah learned about compassionate inquiry, which involved exploring one's thoughts and emotions with kindness and understanding. She found that this type of inquiry was a helpful tool for self-transformation and self-improvement. After the retreat, Sarah brought her newfound knowledge of compassionate inquiry back into her daily life. She began to approach her thoughts and emotions with more curiosity and compassion, which led to a greater awareness of her inner dialogue and allowed her to respond more skillfully to life's challenges. Sarah also found that regular meditation practice was a key component of deepening her mindfulness practice. She set aside time each day to sit in silence and focus on her breath, allowing her mind to settle and her awareness to expand. She found that this daily practice helped her to remain more present and centered throughout the day. In addition to meditation, Sarah began to focus on mindful living, which meant bringing a sense of awareness and attention to each moment of her day. She practiced mindful eating, mindful communication, and mindfully engaging in physical activity. She found that by bringing mindfulness to these areas of her life, she was able to cultivate a greater sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. Interpersonal mindfulness also became an important aspect of Sarah's mindfulness practice. She began to approach her relationships with greater care and attention, taking the time to listen deeply to others and to respond in a skillful and compassionate way. She found that this led to more authentic and meaningful connections with the people in her life. Sarah recognized that deepening her mindfulness practice was an ongoing process that required dedication and effort. She attended other retreats throughout the year and sought out teacher guidance when needed. She allowed herself to engage in self-inquiry and compassionate inquiry, which led to self-transformation and self-improvement. Through her continued mindfulness practice, Sarah experienced a sense of peace, joy, and fulfillment that had eluded her in the past. She recognized that mindfulness was not simply a tool for stress reduction, but was instead a path towards a more mindful and meaningful life. As Sarah continued on her journey towards deeper mindfulness, she hoped to inspire others to explore this transformative practice for themselves. She believed that with dedication and effort, anyone could cultivate a greater sense of peace and well-being in their lives. Question, how can we deepen our mindfulness practice? Check the video description.